This year is the best rapper ever. Now you may be like, the guy six. That's your opinion. But honestly, I do not care. Also, by the way, uh, I am not going to be discussing Kendrick Lamar's, you know, actual, like, life and, like, how he used to be in a way. I'm just going to be discussing his, you know, rapping. Alright, now, Good Kid, Mad City. Kendrick Lamar's first debut album. I'm not going to be discussing Section 80, mostly because I didn't listen to it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but I'll make a separate video on it once, you know, I actually do listen to it. Now, this album is very easily the best concept album ever made in rap. Remember that? In rap. Truly. The album explained in a short way for people with, like, low attention spans, like me, it basically is just an album on a good kid in a mad city. I know, very, very, very shocking, truly. Now remember this big ass set of Kendrick Lamar's music. This will basically be one of the reasons why Kendrick Lamar blows up and is considered to be the best rapper ever. As a matter of fact, Mr. Melon Man himself, Anthony Fantano, absolutely loves Kendrick Lamar's music. As a matter of fact, his Good Kid Mad City review was a 9 out of 10, which isn't even the highest uh, review Fantano has given to Kendrick Lamar. Uh, Good Kid Mad City, 10 out of 10. Now for his next album after that. To Pimp a Butterfly, or as I like to call it, To Butterfly a Pimp, mostly for the dumbness of it. And this album, absolutely amazing, which Fantano gave a 10 out of 10, which is very rare for Fantano. It's pretty rare just to even get like an 8 or a 9, let alone a 10. Yeah, but I'm like stating this like Fantano basically started Kendrick Lamar's entire rapping career. He really didn't, though. Like, he didn't at all. Well, he did a little bit, but, like, uh, yeah. But then Kendrick Lamar thought, what should I make as of my next, well, thing? Just the literal extras off of his last album. Then, about a year later, he made his next album by the name of damn which for some reason anthony fantano did not really like but honestly i didn't really see anything wrong with it honestly i decently liked it a little bit actually so around like five years later kendrick lamar drops his next album By the name of Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Honestly, I can't really say anything about this album. Kind of because I didn't really, you know, listen to it. That's kind of the problem. So, yeah. Now I realize that I forgot to state some things during this video. So I'm just going to add on a little bit more stuff because this video is kind of short. So uh, he literally met Taylor Swift. Well, they even made a song together. Well, it's more of like a remix in a way. This interview era asked Obama who did he think would win in a rap battle? Drake versus Kendrick Lamar? And Obama picked... Kendrick Lamar and said how his album was outstanding which I have no clue when this video was made so <coughs> I don't know then Kendrick Lamar literally met Obama which I'm pretty sure was 
because of some organization Kendrick Lamar works with or something like that. Now, Kendrick Lamar has, of course, a lot of, you know, never released albums. He has albums like Mad Kid Chill City. Uh, yeah, I forgot about the other ones. But, oh, so he was planning on making a rock album at one point. Yeah, I'd like to see how that sounds. I wonder if he would have done it, like, made had it, like, sound good. Because every other rapper who tries to do that stuff always end up sounding terrible. And not a lot of people know this, though. But Kendrick Lamar started out, like, in, like, 2004 with his first album, like... Y N I C. I have no clue what it stands for, but yeah, pretty strange to think about that. Then afterwards, Training Day. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I don't know what I mean by apparently. I've have no clue, and I have never heard anybody's opinion on this album at all. Then C four have nothing really else to say about this album at all. And then, his self-titled. Then, Overly Deceased. All I heard about this album is how Kendrick Lamar was just trying to find his sound at the period of time. Which, I mean, that's just every rapper's first album. But this is, like, his first, like... This is, like, his fifth I know I said, like, you know, I wasn't going to talk about Section 80, but honestly, I don't really have anything else to really say about this album, except for, like, it's Section 80. Oh, no, so Fantano rated it, like, an 8, which is super hot, which is pretty high, actually. So all in all, Kendrick Lamar is very clearly the best rapper ever. And also I heard how, well, I didn't hear, they, bas they basically tell us Kendrick Lamar and B.B. Keem are going to be making a collab album, which I'd like to hear how that sounds, because that sounds a pretty good idea. So yeah, like, subscribe, thank you for watching.